Like social media peoples. Uh, right, we find ourselves up in Bolton now. This is a Dunster house balcony fort. Um, the ground is slightly sloping. <laughs> Decided to build it slightly on the slope um, just to follow the ground because basically it's so wet. I'll show you in just a moment. This has been concreted as well. Ooh, tried to do the best to try and make it as level as possible. Um, this has only gone in a little while ago. Apparently it's gonna be raining in the next few hours. So thought was to get it in as quick as possible. So that one's still a bit damp. This ground is soaking wet. Um, customers bought some extra accessories. With these sets, they sell extra rock wall bits. In all honesty, the rock wall ladder, there's no need of extra grips because kids don't really use them anyway. It's a selling thing, to be honest. The kids, if they ever use the actual rock wall bits, be very rare. They'll always use the ladder. Um, there's not really enough space to actually get your foot onto the actual parts anyway. So people, the kids just use them as the actual ladders. Attach the handles just a little bit offset just to make it sort of so you can basically grab it, pull yourself up, slide down, telescope off the front. Sorry about my screen, I still need to get the camera lens fixed after scratching it. Again, steering wheel, no good place to put these. The actual cladding, you'll see how thin that is. There's my finger. It is literally, I don't know, about six, seven mil. Not even that, it's terrible. So they're, they're all right for cheap and cheerful play sets, but you can't screw a, a, a steering wheel into that. It's just gonna fall out. You need to go into a proper bit of wood. If you screwed in here, for example, the steering wheel is gonna go round. Um, every single hole up on top, you can't really put it into those bits of wood because the actual bolt is as big as those um, bits. It'll just split that wood in half and crack it. They crack anyway, just trying to get a screw through sometimes. So you have to, to pre-drill it and even then it cracks sometimes. Uh, so that's that, roof is on, bits there, I mean it doesn't look awful, it's not ideal but it's the strongest way and they've basically, you know, as with everyone, they want it to go in, they want the kids to play on it. If it's slightly off they're going to, I think, get used to it. This again is a bit of a weird shaped garden, so that fence goes off in one angle, this one comes off at another angle and the house is at another angle. So looking through the window, it's never going to be a perfect fit, but that is that, you can hit this. This is the problem with concreting it. When it's going to be raining like that and backfilling, see how muddy it gets. Concrete, you dig down. When it rains, the rain just sits at the bottom, never lets the concrete actually dry out. But if you put a peg in there, it'd be even worse. Like that, how wet that is now. If you put the peg in the ground, you better just lift, you lift it straight out. So again, I don't know why these mass manufacturers don't plan for different gardens and, and advise you that you can obviously alter it or speak to the installers if you're doing it, but it is what it is. Other than that, these are great little sets if you're just you know, working on a budget, you want something for a few years, if it starts breaking, not to worry too much. Um, customers kind of gone crazy with accessory tick boxes. So we've got ourselves a glider, baby, baby seat. Uh, I think there's a disc swing trapeze bar is the wooden bar with two little handles under it and there's a vertical climbing rope again if we do custom builds or if you're ever speaking to them i would personally phone up and ask for another swing hanger as well so if you're buying i can you know install these in seconds in two seconds but the, the the disc and the rope they come off one one position so if you've got a disc you really want to be coming off the middle so that you can sort of swing yourself around and bounce around a little bit you don't really want to, you know, if you hung the disc up on this one side, you're just going to be smashing into there constantly. Um, so yeah, that's that. The glider again, I don't know. I, when I sell a glider with our custom sets, we install it with four swing hangers. You can't do that on these. The swing hangers they install and tell everyone that they're so much safer that wrap around the wood. This wood dries out and shrinks over time. So then this is actually naturally going to start wobbling. Ours, we drill through, we've done it for years, never had issues. I don't know how Dumpster come to a conclusion. We, well, we change ours depending on what wood it is, but I don't know. There's never, there's not a perfect scenario, but I wouldn't get sold on this is a lot safer because it wraps around. We sometimes do these, um, but sometimes not. However, the thickness of this back bit of wood, which forms the monkey bars, is not big enough to put the, the glider on. Now what happens with the glider is where you attach it to these two top parts, if it's only hanging off one piece, when it goes up, basically whips itself backwards. 
because the rope loses tension on the front. When it's coming off four hangers, you never have that. It just swings naturally because it's always hanging on the four. So that's just something to be aware of if you want to. Um, yeah. So in, in, in my note, if, if you're buying lots of accessories that come off a single swing, the disc swing, the climbing rope, which is basically a rope with knots in it, ask Dunster for one more swing hanger and then hang it up just off center up here. And then that will give you enough space to actually naturally climb bits. You obviously take these swings off or hook them up and get them out of the way. Um, but basically that is just for the sake of an extra couple of pound, my top tip. Um, go from there. Personally speaking, I'd, I'd ask for two of these swing or monkey bar hangers, monkey bar beams, four by fours, and then if I was going to get a glider, but I don't know what Dunster would say to that. So that's that. Instructions not being touched, everything else is in. Another little thing to note with these sets so the balcony fort has got different swings. I'm not really a very good YouTuber, as you can tell, slash social media person, but I've been told to do this because um, people seem to like it so sorry basically with these a lot of them i.e the maxi four or mana four i think it is the swing beam is exactly the same swing there's nothing different to it at all however this attaches on the outside and then you drill through the balcony four attaches on the inside and then it twists these legs so if you look at that beam it attaches obviously on the inside but so does this support beam on the bottom so they've changed that They've also added a support beam under here. And keen eyes might have seen one on the front. So this is the Balky Fort. I think the Maxi Fort or Mana Fort are the ones that are one slightly higher, one's I think the same as this, without the balcony part. They don't have those and they don't tell you to build the swing, even though everything else is exactly the same. Key note for this, if you're DIYers, this balcony, you've got to be drilling out all these holes, okay? Make sure they all line up properly and go in straight, or otherwise you can't get support and then that, that whole thing wobbles as well. Uh, other key note, um, even down the set, the Monkey Fort Wilderness, you actually have to drill through the floor uh, rather than using screws, which commercial builds, we drill through the floor as a general or we use a thick screw. Um, some of the domestic ones we do just literally pop a screw in like this um, we, use, we tend to use a thicker screw just to stop any problems but it's, it's great that mana forts actually or monkey fort you actually drill through it's just so much better for the slide it stops it coming off as well you can put a little t-nut on the bottom it's funny that the smaller sets have actually got some better bits to it um, anyway that's the balcony fort in Bolton if you want your climbing frame built then I'll do my best um, if you've got a flat garden, certainly very happy. If you have a slightly sleepy garden, we need to look into it a little bit and work out what to do. Because if you start cutting this into the ground, you start losing bits of the playset and they rot very, very quickly. We dug in a few of these a good few years ago and we're now getting recalls. But when we turn up and put it out of the mud, the actual wood is all, it's literally been eaten by the worms and bites. And I don't know, they're, they're not meant to be dug in. Your garden is meant to be flat. And as you can see here, this has all been landscaped. This has all been done very very recently however it's just a few, like half an inch out and bosh you've got a slightly slopey place there. these build boxes on the ground a big square box if you don't have a flat garden the playset goes from level to slightly slopey so hit us up www.climbingframeinstaller.co.uk building all over the uk um and we, tr we travel about basically from location. I'm off from now, so I've left Suffolk. I'm up in Bolton. I'm off to Birmingham, then Bristol, then Reading, then back to Suffolk. That is my week's work. And one day I'll get this screen fixed after scratching my camera lens um, and going from there. Thanks very much. Please like, subscribe, hit us up a little bit. Thank you very much.